Okay, good afternoon, good evening, good morning to you. Uh, this is just to show you how to actually reset uh, a Kirsten's viewer back to default by deleting the cache and local settings files. I've set up the viewer here. As you can see, I can see no prims, and I've forgot which setting I've clicked that's done that, so I need to get it back to default. How do I do that? Okay. Well, quick and easy way to do it is to delete the user settings and cache folder. So what we do is we'll exit the viewer. Not a problem, logging out. And what you're actually looking for is your documents folder. And in this case, my documents folder is called Kirsten Lee, because that's what I log in on the system. This is Windows 7, by the way. It's the same for Windows Vista. And here we have my documents folder. As you can see, there's downloads, my music, my pictures, etc, etc. What you're looking for is the app data folder. Now, it's a system folder which is hidden by default. So, to view it, press the Alt key, brings up the menu for Explorer, and go on Tools, Folder Options, View, and in the list here it says show hidden files folders and drives click on that press apply and lo and behold app data appears so we go into app data now on uh, Vista and on Windows 7 the data for the viewer actually resides in two locations for your texture cache it's in the local folder and here we have Kirsten's S20 to get rid of any corrupted texture cache data or any cache data at all, just delete the folder. There we go. Okay, and that one's deleting, 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 and it's gone. As you can see, other viewers like Kirsten's S19 reside in there and Second Life as well. Most viewers use their own caches and this is where you'd find them, the texture cache that is. Now we need to look at the settings folder. This is in the roaming folder and here we have Kirsten's S20 again. Now then, we've got accounts, individual accounts, crash logs, but the bit we're interested in is the user settings folder. We want to keep all our IMs so we don't delete our account bits and pieces. You see these are all your IM records, so don't delete those. All you have to do is delete user settings. So delete user settings. Yes. It's gone. Go back out of there. Close it. Now we restart the viewer. What happens is because you've deleted the cache data and the user settings, when the viewer starts up, it detects that those particular folders don't exist, so it regenerates them using factory default settings. So here we go. Double click. Detecting hardware. Initializing VFS. So this is where it's actually detecting and writing those folders again. It will use its default settings. So it may take a little bit of time as it does this. But as you can see, the viewer has reset the window size. No username and password is remembered. So now we type in, if I can spell it, our username and our password, and we log in. Now there's a screenshot of what it looked like before we deleted the settings. So we're now logging in and hopefully everything should be back to default. And here we go. Yep, music starts up automatically. And there's the prims and there's the avatar and if you look in your preferences everything's been reset to the standard. 
so this is a great way of actually getting the viewer back to defaults without having to reinstall your viewer every time. This of course works for any Second Life viewer. Um, the reason why it's so important in the Kirsten's viewer is because the viewer gets updated so many times, um, the user settings do change and that can be problematic. But as you can see, there it comes. We're all up and running. Hey ho. And the reason we're all grey with the prims as well is because we deleted the local cache. But we're back at default. We can set it up as we like it again. And we're good to go. Anyway, hope that helps. Bye bye now.